Florida Somerville police officer Anthony Delustro makes his first appearance in court after being charged with murder. Sled says Delustro was off duty when he shot and killed 39 year old Michael O'Neill. The murder charges mean he'll eventually go to trial where he could face 30 years to a life sentence. Claire Weber joins us now with late breaking developments we've learned from SLED's affidavit. Claire? Tessa, after three weeks of an ongoing investigation, talking to eyewitnesses and collecting video evidence, SLED's lengthy affidavit states Delustro did not act out of self-defense. Records show O'Neill couldn't have reasonably been seen as a threat since he was unarmed and tried to leave the altercation multiple times. I just ask you for mercy so I can help my wife with the girls while we go through this. Now facing murder charges, former Somerville police officer Anthony Delustro is asking for forgiveness. New details from the altercation that took place in a Chick-fil-A parking lot in March show Delustro was the primary aggressor and killed O'Neill with malice aforethought. We're now learning O'Neill tried to leave before the altercation escalated, but eyewitnesses say they heard Delustro threaten to shoot O'Neill if he did. Every officer is trained in the use of deadly force to be used on only very limited circumstances. And the standards for meeting the use of deadly force are, are clearly not met in this case. And yet we do have the use of deadly force. The affidavit reveals Delustro broke free from a bystander, grabbed his gun, and entered O'Neill's car through the passenger door. O'Neill was heard saying he wanted to leave and shouted for Delustro to get out of his car. As O'Neill began to drive away, Delustro fired one single shot. The Berkeley County Coroner's Office confirms the bullet traveled from O'Neill's right arm to his chest, killing him. My entire life was public service. I have never did anything wrong. I never had one substantiated complaint in the 35 years I've been in law enforcement. Since Delustro faces a murder charge, bond won't be set until he goes before a circuit court judge. Former South Carolina Attorney General Charlie Condon speculates it could take many months before the case goes to trial. But I would think that the state of South Carolina may offer a plea to what's called voluntary manslaughter. And if not, we go to trial for, for the much more serious crime of murder. And we'll have to see how that unfolds. Anthony Delustro will appear in court on June 14th, then again on October 25th. That's when Delustro could make a plea. His trial date hasn't been set. Claire Weber, News 4. Thank you, Claire. Somerville Police Chief Doug Wright will be hosting a press conference regarding former officer Delustro tomorrow at 2 p.m.